Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to RimWorld where my marines are doing so so well right now. What do we got here? Oh, some survival meals. Well, I suppose that could come in handy. Um, so, we're doing really well. Like, we're, we're okay. We're, we're 13 days away from the the, uh, the planet going pop. Um, but, we're 9.3 days away from this reactor being online. The engines are currently being built. We have a mad doe which Danny is currently taking care of and has taken care of just like an absolute champ. Um, these engines are coming online. They have enough uranium to build two and hopefully we're about to... Nope, we've got all three of them. Good to go. So Danny is now smashing the construction of those three engines and all we need is for Jenny to research up the next component which is the AI uh, persuasion which then lets us build an AI core which then lets us, like, basically let the AI drive the ship for us whilst we're asleep. And we just so happen to have nabbed ourselves an AI Persona Core. It's very badly damaged, which is not super great. Um, but it, it's, it's kind of not really a super problem, right? We can whack this thing into our ship and use it to get off this planet. And I'm super thrilled that we're going to be able to do this. This is going to be really, really cool. So, then... After that's complete, all we need is to get our friends onto the ship and get off this godforsaken rock. Uh, what are these guys? White Goat Bringer? Alright, that's fine. There's another crew that have decided to attack us. What we're going to do now is I'm going to relocate this cannon so that it's going to be, I guess, in here is probably a better place. And then I'm going to build a copy here. Right, so that when they come at us, we can be standing inside the base area and then we can potentially, I guess, do we want to have some ammo like on these guys? Like I really want to have, oh my giddy aunt. Um, flick switches, release prisoners. Is there one for reloading weapons? Uh, repair damaged things. Um, I don't know. I do not know. Unless it's... Is that a hall activity? Because I would have thought it would have been in the basic zone. Like, basic contains flick switches, release prisoners, open containers. Cool. Um, where would I find... Unless it's not here. Brewing, hunt, construct. Um, grow mine smith. Do I, can I, can I, is it, oh, I see there's a little bar here, right? Okay, we got this. And then hall, rearm turrets. La, that is what we want. Well, I can just set someone to one for hauling, which I already have, right? So Kennedy is set to do hauling at level one. Okay, so if this guy gets relocated uh, momentarily, this one, okay. So Danny, could you please prioritize that AI persuasion has been completed so then we can get in and oh yes look ship computer core right there this is the, the perfect little spot for it um, so that requires that some gold advanced components and steel I'm pretty sure we have all them fixings I'm gonna get Danny to relocate this cannon so that it's uh, a little bit closer and then we can let um, we can let Kennedy then do the reloading of weapons for us uh, whenever it is that we need weapons reloaded. Okay, fine. So, I'm also going to pop a zone here, which is going to be uh, clear all critical for ammunition. Wait, I hear firing. Oh, they're here already. No. Oh. I didn't even need to worry about it. Priscilla's just taking care of it. Like an absolute boss. Like the way that she always does. Every single time. Um, alright. Are any of these guys useful? Nope. 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 Okay, you're all gonna freeze to death. Um, please enjoy. Uh, Priscilla is currently smashing this uranium ore for me. And how are we doing on uranium? Uh, let's see. Where would I find that? Would it be down here? No, there it is. 360. Okay, this needs 70. 
That doesn't need any at all. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cancel out the rest of that. Thank you, Priscilla. Um, I'm going to cancel out a couple of these. I'm just trying to keep... I'm just trying to keep what we're doing to an absolute minimum, if that makes sense. So I don't want to be like mining too much stuff. It's kind of tricky, right? I don't want to mine too much stuff, but I also don't want to run out of the bits and pieces that, that we need. Um, mm, it's it's tricky. It's tricky. All right. 8.5 days remaining. Uh, we still don't have these engines online, which is not great. We've got a dirty cooking area, which is super not great. Oh, who needs to be cleaning? Kennedy. Kennedy, I really would like it if you could do some cleaning for me. Uh, but you're hauling at the moment. What are you actually hauling? Where are you going? Kennedy. Um, gathering uranium. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so let's just go cancel that. Priscilla, thank you very much. Well done. Oh, there's some more uranium there, actually. We may need some... Um, we may need some gold, I think. I don't know how much gold we actually have. No, we got 79. This requires 70. Okay, so we have just enough gold for that. So that's fantastic. These engines can be brought up. Uh, brought up. Well, look at that. That is a funky looking thing. Okay, cool. So, three engines about to come online. All right, we're missing one. We're missing a computer, uh, computer, computer core and our crypto sleep caskets. So the current research is the standard crypto sleep caskets, uh, which are the uh, the regular, you know, those are the regular ones, like these ones that we uncovered up here, which, did I did I deconstruct those? Or was it because they're outside, they got, uh, they got damaged? Oh, nah, it doesn't matter. I, I couldn't use those ones anyway. I need the vacuum ones, which are the ones that are like hardened and ready to be used in space. Uh, which is pretty fantastic, I have to say. Okay, cool. So, how are we doing? 12 days to go. And 7.9 days to go. I think we, we're kind of, like, we're kind of getting there. We're kind of getting there. All we need to do is just keep an eye on this. And you know what, actually, I'm also going to make this a, um, a no roof area. Just so that when this gets completed. This is just so that I can have a wall surrounding this and just protecting it a little bit it's probably not super necessary but it's it's totally fine it's totally fine um right so this is all coming together quite nicely it is a little asymmetrical but i don't think that really matters um like there's a nub in here that doesn't quite fit but what are you gonna do right it's that's what happens when things are sort of awkward shapes and sizes it, it's just it's gonna it's gonna be wonky it's gonna happen okay so Danny is now currently bringing on our ship computer core, which I'm super thrilled about. This is the first time I've ever built one of these. Um, oh, come on, Danny. I wanted to see that. AI core offer. Monkey of the Green Tree Confederation contacts you. Uh, the location of an AI persona core, which you'll need. Oh, righto. Well, thanks, guys. I mean, I appreciate the offer, but uh, we've already got one. See? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him Gary. Is that okay? Is Gary a good name? I feel like it is. I feel like, uh, you know, if I were an AI, I would like to be called Gary. That, that's, that's, that's what I'm currently functioning under the, uh, under the feels of. Um, I feel like it, it's, it's a good, um, solid. I'm sorry. I've just realised that I never got around to making auto doors like this entire time i have not done the research to make an auto door so we've been running this whole time on standard doors in the front of this base but geez it's worked out hey it's absolutely done the thing like it, it's it's absolutely done the thing wow i'm so distracted right now by just just how close we are to getting this danny danny please mate please make this happen i want this online Got a meteorite made from plasteel. That's rad. AI core is online. Which is wonderful. <gasps> There's a button. 
There's a button that says launch ship. Ah, uh, this is phenomenal. Currently not yet ready ship reactor. Now, crypto sleep caskets. Almost done. This one's 2800. Oh my god, guys. I think we're doing it. I think we can do this. Man, this is absolutely phenomenal. Crypto sleep caskets now complete. Jenny, how you doing, my friend? Hideous environment? Yes, it really is. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get... Who's not doing anything useful? Um, I guess Kennedy? Let's make hauling a slightly lower priority. I need Kennedy to clean this base for me. As soon as she wakes up, she's having a bit of a nap. Um, because I think that... Um, uh, you know, she's she's had a busy day. She's had a busy day. All right, so let's... Oh, oh man. Okay. Um, let's just... Do, paramedic named Scipio calls you from nearby. Um, he begs for safety. I mean, I kind of don't want to offer you safety, dude, because I kind of then would have to build another crypto sleep casket, which I'm not terribly thrilled about. Um, but I guess, I mean, what do you do? You're a dumbo. Like, you, you're basically useless. You can mine, I suppose. Medical's not bad. And you're a cannibal. Which I'm not thrilled about. My goodness, there's a few of them. Okay. <sighs> Fine. Fine, Scipio. You better be the best freaking cleaner that I have ever seen. Alright, best cleaner I've ever seen. I'm going to make you hauling as well. Um... Yeah, sure. Okay, great. So, we're going to get the power trio out the front here. Is this... Uh, okay, we're going to get Scipio. You need to be on hall duty and you need to prioritize. Nope. Okay, could you... Could you, Scipio? Please tell me. Please tell me we have some more of that ammunition. Someone? Please. Come on. Zero. Are you absolutely kidding me? You are absolutely kidding me. Alright, Danny. Yes. Do that right now. And Jenny and Priscilla. Why are there trees here? Okay, Scipio, can you cut down trees? Not a sign of plant cutting. Oh my giddy aunt. Alright, who can cut down... I don't want trees in here, guys. This is not helping the situation. Um, alright, plant cut, plant cut, Jenny, okay, Jenny, just do me a favor, and cut that down, and there's a second raid, from the Dark Brigands, that's not great, um, alrighty then, well, let's, let's see, so they're just, we're just gonna get chain raided now, okay, that's fine, so let's see what we can do about getting this guy re -kafubled. I can hear them attacking my power generation systems, but they're stepping around the corner and we are now able to open up on them. Hopefully, basically just, you know, start wrecking them. It's fine. Uh, Scipio, can you, when this gets done, Danny, prioritize that. Good, good, thank you. Um, okay. Well, hopefully we'll just be able to take down Opossum relatively quickly. Scipio, you need to not be doing that thing. Okay, can we... Can we not? Can you not? Can you not? Get inside, you burk. Okay, great. Guys, as you were, Scipio, you absolute monkey. He's just run across her line of fire and then had a chat about vacations. Because of course he did. All right, who we got here? Busto. Um, okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Are any of these guys really worthwhile? I don't think so. Honestly, at this stage, I feel like we just leave these guys here to uh, to scare. Oh, okay, cool. To scare our inbound buddies with the intention of like having them demoralized by the time they arrive. Oh, red. Dude, you are not going to have a good day. You are... Yeah, okay. You had a bad time there. You've you've all had a bad time. In fact, this general has just absolutely done the most 
pathetic job of using satchel charges that I've ever seen. Like by tossing them all and then charging in, that's, I don't know what you expected to happen there, General. I think that that was probably, I mean, let's, intellectual, yeah, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty silly person. You're a pretty silly person. Um, and you are pretty. Um, yeah. Pretty, but silly. Well, that's a bit of a shame. A bit of a shame. I was hoping to trade with those guys and maybe get a little something, something. A little, a little something. I don't know. It doesn't matter, though. It does not matter at all. Um, I wonder uh, if the um, plus two combat supplier, a trade ship. Oh, they are a combat supplier. Okay, great. Well, that actually worked out to be um, perfect timing. So let's see <clears throat> what these people have that I may be able to buy. So they've got some components. I'll grab those just in case I need them. Um, I guess you can have this and these arrows and 44 Magnum cartridges. I've got my 556. I'm going to keep that and my 7.62. Uh, club, 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 club. Recurve bows, revolvers I don't want. Great. Charge rifle you can have. Now, with those things taken care of, are there any rad things that you want to sell me? A carbon jumpsuit? Carbon crystalline fiber jumpsuit for military personnel. Light and thin, but surprisingly sturdy. Cool. Um, fire support armor. All right, cool. Let's get a couple of these bits and bobs. A 90 mil flak... Jack, uh, turret we can build our on our own uh, I'm going to take your assault helmet and armor wow uh, am I? jeez that is uh, mm, that is extremely expensive and I do not have the fixings to be able to buy those things um, okay how about just an assault rifle do you have a plain old assault rifle the answer is no no you do not Okay, well, look, thanks for stopping by, I guess. I was kind of hoping that you would have something like, oh, man. Fire support armor. Wow, that is super duper expensive. Okay, so I guess all of this stuff is, um, is kind of nice, but there's... Ooh, yeah. Mm, that's always fun to play with. It's kind of nice, but I don't really have uh, anything there. That, uh, that I would like to trade. Um, great. Okay. Research? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. We are totally getting there. Jenny, how you doing, mate? Are you feeling good? Where are you? Having a bit of a feed? Good stuff. We've got a major break risk. These two are taken care of. That can be, uh, that can be popped away. Taiko and Danny need a bit of rest and relaxation. Another meteorite has dropped with some gold in it, which is great. This whole power situation is at, at kind of at risk, I have to say. And it really comes down to just the positioning of them outside of the walls of the base here. Ideally, what I should have done was to be it would have been to put a, another bridge here with a wall on it and then have the wall come down here and have like a defense position here, have this wall encircling this whole area. Um, and then maybe another defensive position like here on the road or something to that effect. But you know what? It kind of doesn't... Who's got hypothermia? What on earth are you doing? Scipio, you absolute maniac. Where are you going? Seriously, where are you going? You're going all the way up there to grab some meatballs instead of staying inside... Look, seriously, if this guy dies, I'm just going to let him. This guy is really... You know what? How do I... Social. Social. No one likes him. Absolutely no one likes this guy. You know what? I'm going to banish him. I'm going to banish this guy. This guy sucks. Light pants, fine leather. Colonist banished to death. Um, I mean... No, I don't want that. 
but I do want him to not go outside. All right, I'll tell you what, mate. What we're going to do is we're going to make some parkas. And we're going to make, like, four of those, three of those. I'm going to make those out of... Did we end up getting all that alpaca wool that was floating about? It doesn't look like we did. I guess that's because we've had problems with uh, keeping this area, like this stock room, um, not overflowing. Um, but that's okay. All right, well, well, let's tell you what. It's fine now. It's totally fine now. We, we can just ignore it and carry on with what we need to do. I'm waiting for, uh, for Jenny to get back online uh, and get back to researching. I could put Squint... I could put Squint in. Yeah, I'm going to put Squint in. Squint, get cracking, buddy. Um, how much have we got left? It doesn't actually tell you a point count. I can hear a raid has just uh, just fired up. So the Outlander's Minium. There's three people. What have you got, Ronnie? What's that? A J.I. Molten Pistol. Eesh. Heavy pistol made from Jotun Interstellar. Fires molten metal projectiles. That sounds absolutely terrifying. And the other guys have just some regular pistol-y type things. Let's just ignore them. Let's let them, let's let them come down this way. Hopefully they'll, um, hopefully they'll just stroll into the, the center of the base and do what they need to do. Um, Scipio is building out the rest of the, uh, the clothing that we have. You know what? Don't bother with those things. Just make a couple of parkas, mate. That'll be fine. Um, and Ibex is self-tamed. That's kind of fun. Ah, here they are. Spiffy. Ronnie? good -o. These things are great. These cannons are absolutely phenomenal. Wow. And how about Philip? Is he going to get down? Come on. Come on, cannons. Do me proud. Oh. That guy would have been super handy. But he just had his head shot off. So that's fine. What is this? 12 gauge shells, right? And some medicine. Cool. Uh, and these guys, I think they're um, they're pretty much hosed as well. Eight hours. He's actually pretty intellectual, this guy. Um, but look, it's fine. I, I kind of don't want to fluff around too much with... Uh, with rescuing too many of these people. There's just, there's just so much stuff on this map now. Okay. I don't want to fluff around with rescuing, rescuing these guys. Partially because I don't want to have to build too many crypto sleep caskets. Alright? So, you know, it's it, look, it's just... Call me, call me uh, a little bit of a, a, a jerk here. But, so what does this require? One advanced component for... Wow, are we out of steel again? Tell me it ain't so. Really? What on earth did I use all the steel for? I mean, I made another cannon, but... Did I accidentally make too many... No? I mean, that's... Requires 48 steel. Oh, you burk. Oh, no. I made all that ammunition... With the intention of... Okay, look. Let's just... Let's just drill that down so that we don't accidentally get caught on that again. We've got more than enough uh, NATO ammo. Uh, steel. Steel? Shizer. Um, okay. All right. It's, no, it's okay. It's okay. We just need to, very calmly and very carefully, just queue up a bunch of steel here. That's fine. That's totally fine. We could probably do with a bridge. Um, in fact, you know what? And we're getting attacked. Okay. That's fine. That's cool, because these guys are just going to come straight up in my cannon area. Um, unless they... Oh, Danny. Oh, no, Danny. Not Danny. No, I need Danny. Oh, no, don't kidnap her. Oh, you bastards. Oh, you utter bastards. Oh, I am... Oh, no. CPO, you better get to constructing, my friend. Um, and can you mine? Oh, you can. Oh, you champion. Okay. All right, CPO, I take it all back. But holy dooly, Danny, no. Why did I have to lose Danny? Danny was my favorite. Well, she was one of my favorites. 
Oh. Damn it. Why? Why would you do that game? Why would you make it so that she just happened to be down there when those little pricks rolled onto the map? What an absolute bastard of a thing to do. Scipio, can you shoot? Can you... No. Alright. I mean, I guess, Kennedy, you could grab this rifle to replace that weird kinetic gun that you've got at the moment. At least this one we're going to have, like, a million and one rounds for you and you'll never run out. Alright. We can make the vacuum crypto sleep caskets. So... I think uh, I think we're going to need to to make those up. They do need steel, uranium components and advanced component. Okay, and they're like this, so they go on that way. Okay, so we need to like stack them along like that, and then we can pop one at the front here. All right, and we need six. We need six of them. All right. Well, look. So friends, next episode, what we're going to do is try and get the rest of this ship completed. It's got four days left before it completes and is ready to boot up. Um, and we currently have eight days before we, um, yeah, before we are completely hosed on this planet and we need to get out. So friends, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.